Excellent. The system works. Hello, hello, story seekers. Welcome to our second episode of Arcinia, the Elements of Surprise. We are Queer Bee Dragons. Uh, my name is Roxana Meta. I will be your DM for the day. Um, my players, Halo. I'm not going to make you guys like say your own name because it was very confusing last time. Halo, <laughs> Chris, Teebs, and Tara who has the cutest little horns today. Yeah. Um, let's see here. What do we have to say about this? I guess, uh, Chris, I'm gonna hand it over to you for the general announcements. Cool, cool. Uh, welcome to Queer Bee Dragons. Uh, catch us every other Sunday live on Twitch or catch up on our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Queer Bee Dragons. And happy Pride Month, everyone. Yes, happy Pride Month. Who would we be as Queer Bee Dragons if we did not acknowledge the gloriousness of Pride Month? Um, yeah, we, we've we got our like, most people have their, some fancy makeup on for the day. We got a we got a pride flag in the background. I didn't have my shit together for any of that. I got a little rainbow necklace. You know, we're doing what we can over here. But uh, yeah, happy Pride, my babies. Uh, remember uh, Stonewall was a riot? Be gay, do crimes. Let's start. <laughs> Halo, let's go. Beneath the ethereal plain and across five seas lies a small forgotten continent. Listen closely, story seeker, for in the echo of a hoot or a howl, you may hear the tale of Arcinia. Long ago, Arcinia's verdant shores were colonized by those who sought to bend nature to their whims. With reckless violence, they slaughtered or enslaved the creatures they found. In the darkest days of havoc, a great power arose from the land. It transformed the beasts of the field and sky and stood them upon two legs. As equals now, they met the awestruck eyes of elves and humans, gnomes and giants. Even the wind held its breath and a great mist settled on the seas. In the stillness, hand shook hoof and soon the bloodshed had faded from memory. Today, war is but a fairy tale, and the people hold the land in balance generation after generation. Though Arcinians are as colorful and varied as the seasons, they share a common tongue and a sense of divine order. But can chaos ever truly be tamed? Speaking of chaos, can you guys hear the kids yelling outside? Because if you can, I will close my window. Great. Uh, last time on... <laughs> Queer Bee Dragons. Ooh, okay, recap, here we go. Most uh, most of the time we're gonna have uh, our characters, our player characters do our recaps, but I'm gonna wing it for now. We met our four heroes uh, in the tiny clifftop town of Cloventop at uh, the Stork's Leg Inn where they woke up and uh, after a strange dream that they had had uh, sort of simultaneously and headed in for breakfast. And there in the inn, they met a squirrel folk named Tessie, Tessie Chichivo, who was looking for her husband who was lost. Our wonderful adventurers, some of them more nervous, <laughs> anxious about helping out than others, uh, nonetheless agreed to help her find him. Headed down the slope towards the massive lake that lies um, hundreds of feet below Cloven Top and uh, ran into, or I guess chased down, a couple of massive uh, snail creatures called bone whelks that uh, had, it looked like some of the effects from Tessie's husband, uh, whose name is Ushi, stuck to them. They, they, they adhere things to them. And so our adventurers fought them, ran into a couple of unexpected uh, landmines planted in the area which was uh, my favorite thing about the episode because you guys were so surprised that it was mwah. and defeated the bone whelks 
And the last thing that we saw was Tessie seeing on one of them stuck to the side, the skull of what looks like a squirrel folk. Her little face went pale. I think she was mid, I think she was talking to you, Devin, at the time. And she gasped, her whole face went pale and Devin, you turned and saw what it was she was staring at. In this moment, Tessie, her whole, her whole body tenses up and she, she's not listening to what you're saying, Devin, at all. I, I don't, yeah, I don't think she, she's paying attention to anything right now in that moment. But what she does is she, she clearly like overloads and turns away, turns her back on you and stands looking like in the opposite direction up the hill. Anybody who's on that side of her can see that she's just like eyes glazed over and is starting to shake. What do you do? And I put my arm around her because I'm such mm -hmm. a big lady. <laughs> like, you are much taller than she is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> she and, a short lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like maybe pull her into like a hug so that maybe she can feel supported a, a bit. And she'll, just, she'll bury her face in your like whatever she can reach, like your side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she doesn't want to look anymore. Yeah. And, and she's I'm just shit shaking. Just gonna like rub her back and just tell her like, now, Tessie, we don't know if this is him. There were, you saw there were mines. It could be another squirrel folk. It might not be him. We're going to keep looking. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, his, his, um, his t tooth, his, his bottom right tooth broke off on a hard biscuit a couple of weeks ago. Um, okay. We, can you, we can, it, we'll, we'll look, you, you, you don't have to. She okay. keeps her face buried. Um, I'll turn to, oh. Yeah. yeah. Um, we can't hear you. Fibsy. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and actually, if she mentions that, yeah, uh, the, the two thing, uh, Fibbit is going to like kind of cautiously approach the skull. Like, yeah, just very like small alert steps to like kind of look at this uh, squirrel skull to see what uh, what's going on there. Are there any chip tooths? Uh, make me a perception check. Chipped teeths. Teeths. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, that is a sixteen. Okay. Uh, you step up to the side of this this massive, like sticky, <laughs> disgusting creature that's got like twigs and leaves and dirt stuck to it. And uh, do you? Do you actually touch it or are you just going to try to look? Absolutely not. Yeah, yeah, absolutely not. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, so you crouch down, Fibbit, uh, and your ears kind of flop forward as you look, try to get the right angle. Uh, this skull is bleached white, like, like a, a pure white that seems, yeah, seems a little bit unusual. Uh, as you peek down, kind of looking under your little floppy ears, you see the bottom set of incisors and the right one is broken off. Fibbit uh, will kind of like uh, pull their, their uh, big old clo closer and kind of shuffle over uh -oh. and <laughs> yeah, you know what's up. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> is going to go over to uh, Devin and uh, I. Oh gosh, I keep. I want. I want to say Mitzi for some reason, but uh, <laughs> um, 
That was a character. Yeah, that another was another character, character that you uh-huh. play. The way I, I feel like Mitzi fits for her too a little bit. And <laughs> kind of. Yeah. It's Tessie. Tessie. I'm yeah. sorry. Um, no worries. So yeah, Fibbit will kind of shuffle over to Devin and Tessie, and so, um, do you remember when I said you should? I'm gonna take like pivot <laughs> and just like kind of gracefully wrap my guild hand guild. Um, oh, like webs, fin, web, webs, yeah. Web, fin, yeah, fin, yeah, fin, uh-huh. like fin hand around pivot and just pull them <laughs> him into me. Are you gonna try to cover and, or his yes, mouth or yes, okay. and just like have him them press against my body and swivel <laughs> do you just like yeah no do you resist this um i think um i think I... like i think uh he looks like he's gonna start resisting but then immediately like realizes like who's holding him and then it will go stiff as a board <laughs> and, like, so... yes you are uncomfortably close to yeah. the teeth <laughs> yeah um... goblins amazing ears straight up like eyes wide like I think what uh what what they see is like do you remember oh and then (laughs) and we'll be pulled away I'll just I quell as I'm pulling Fibbit away (laughs) quell are you doing anything in particular I think I'm just absorbing a little bit of eye contact from Ahalin and uh, the comfort. (laughs) And uh, yeah, Uh, is the skull still there or? Yeah, it's stuck, stuck on pretty good. I absolutely did not touch it. Okay, yeah. And this um, Tessie said about the lower right incisor. Mm Mm-hmm. All right, I'm, yeah. I'm probably just gonna go check it out. Yeah, you'll see. You'll see what uh, Fibbit saw following their sort of eye line. Can I um, attempt to pull the skull off of the dead body? Sure. Go ahead and make me a strength check. It'll be a low DC. Okay. Cool. Also, um, you guys had pulled a couple of other things off of these bone whelks. Uh, you have a little box. I think mm-hmm. Ahlan has, has that right now, the little steel box. I've got the ring. You've got the ring on the chain. And then I think there was like a belt buckle and a I also crowbar have that and, and a crowbar. Okay, yeah. cool. So just yeah. reminding you that you've got those things too, random uh, stuff yeah. you pulled off. I got a natural 20, so I think I need oh, nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I got a 22. You're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're good. Yeah, uh, you, you pull the skull off. Uh, it is, yeah, it is, it is bleached almost pure white, which you've never seen before. Uh, anybody who wants to can make me, I guess who's paying attention, it would be Quell and anybody else who wants to can make um, <clears throat> a medicine check or ooh, anything else. Or I'm what? still comforting Tessie. Okay, so you're probably not, you're probably not looking. No, I, I, am. I would say medicine or nature. I'm currently or, being yeah. held hostage by <laughs> okay. a beautiful and terrifying fish woman. Okay. I am too distracted by Feb and okay. I rolled a nat one. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Um, it was uh, nature we could roll. Yeah, you can do nature or medicine. Much better. Oh, I actually. And, uh, Okay, so uh, that is a, uh, that's an 18. So I think like oh. Fibbit is just like trying to look around and look for ways to get out of the predicament they are in. <laughs> and then, I don't know, just realize, I don't know, stuff about medicine based on. Uh... Yeah, I mean, you had had a good look at it, you know, a second yeah. ago. So you're the little maybe gears are turning. Yeah. Uh, not okay. your favorite thing, but. I also <laughs> rolled an 18. <laughs> okay, so. Okay. I guess. Uh, which ki- what kinds of checks did you guys do? Quell, which one did you do? Oh, sorry. I don't know why I was expecting Fibbit to answer that. <laughs> nature. Nature? <laughs> uh, I also did a nature check. Okay. 
Uh, something unnatural has been done to this skull. Likely something magical. This is not something that you believe could be achieved. Uh, yeah, could be achieved naturally through like, it, you know, if a body was burned, the bones would not look like this. They might at a very high heat. It somewhat resembles the, cal I think it's called calcination that happens at super high heat. But yeah, it's not something that you've seen in nature before. Fibbit does not say anything. Okay. Uh, Quell, you're holding a squirrel folk skull. <laughs> it's a little sticky. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to walk it over <laughs> to Devin and okay. Tessie. Okay. Do you show it to them? Uh, Tessie's not looking. Okay. She's like um, sh shivering like a little leaf. Tessie, uh -huh. I, I did retrieve the skull. Oh. Uh, there is a similar chip tooth, or a chip tooth in a location that you had gestured. Did you want to look at it to see? Right, right bottom, about half halfway. Just kind of, yeah, yeah. Uh, it is in that location. Uh, Devin, she curls both of her little paws into your. You have like a cloak or a tunic or something. Yeah, and just like buries her little face in your side and just like shrieks. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to. She's poking little holes in your cloak That's with okay. her little claws. She can do that. I think I'm gonna like sit on the ground and like cradle her into my lap while she grieves. And out of my pocket, I'm going to pull the ring on the silver chain because this seems to be confirmation. And I feel terrible, but I'm, I'm gonna, while she's still holding me, I think I'm just gonna like put it on her and then hold her and okay. just hold her tight while she grieves because I don't have anything. I can't say anything. This is confirmation for poor Tessie. I feel terrible. Yeah. Yeah, you sort of like loop the chain. It's been broken, but you sort of like tie it a little bit as best you can, loop it around her little neck where it joins the other one she's got. Uh, and yeah, you hold you hold on to her. Uh, what, are, what are the rest of you doing? Oh, and you still hanging on to yeah, Fibbit? Yeah, Fibbit's like gently, like, like, like too afraid to touch the hand that is on their mouth. <laughs> it's like, just like, <laughs> like silently begging her to let him go. Alan will gently let Fibbit go and just gently push them away from her and just put a finger to their snoot eyes crossed and like <laughs> don't be mean and then she'll take out her harp and she'll just play a little tune on her harp something just gentle and soft and something that she hopes that is comforting all right uh, make a performance check for me please Thirteen. Okay. Yeah, that's a lovely, lovely tune. That's a little different than the music that you other you you land folk may have heard before. It's got like some kind of like little minor key thing happening. I don't know a ton about music, but but it is it is still warm. It's not eerie. Um, and Tessie starts to relax a little bit. She's clearly exhausted. This has like yeah, she's 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 starting to shut down. This has been a very exhausting time for her, but the music has helped her stop making that noise. <laughs> so. Would this be considered a short rest? 
Uh, you guys have probably been there for about five minutes after the fight, 10 minutes max. So it wouldn't quite yet. You're welcome to take a short rest if you would like to. Uh, if we do end up doing a short rest, uh, and if anyone who's watching, my three companions, uh, you get to, uh, sorry, once per short rest, you can choose three creatures that watch and listen to you perform for one minute. Each target makes a wisdom saving throw and is charmed. If it fills for one hour, and if it takes away any damage, you attack it or, oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> I thought this was something completely different. I'm sorry. I'm new to bar, you guys. Are you okay, trying not to injure us? Um, charm to charm everybody. I was trying I mean, to make her feel a little bit like everyone. Might feel not a hurt better, to charm her. But... Yeah, it's up to you. It is. Up but to I don't you. think that's what this does. So never mind. Okay. Um, okay. I will continue my performance though. <laughs> okay. All right. What does your harp look like? Uh, it has like. It's made of lava rock. Um, and there are like encrusted, um, I'd say like shells and mm -hmm. some sort of fossils. The strings, I'm not sure if anyone, if any of them would recognize that it's something from Ooh. her homeland. Okay. Yeah, I don't think anybody would. Fibbit is gonna pipe up now a little bit and like kind of, kind of raise their little hand. Like and they're now they're yeah very much like trying to curl themselves into their into their uh, cloak now, and says, um, I almost died um, a little bit ago. Can we can we can we can we sit for a while? Can we? Is that okay? Is that okay if we sit? For a while. I I am not going anywhere for a little while. So as I'm still like holding poor Tessie and like as we're sitting on the ground. <laughs> yeah, um, it'll um this will be uh a uh... You know, it's good to um, take a rest, you, you know, because, and to let her um, process the horrific death of her husband. So I think it would be very consider us, considerable for us to, considerate of us to do that. Very nice and considerate. And <laughs> Pivot looks over at Alan <laughs> and like gives, so gives her a terrified nod <laughs> of approval. <laughs> Being nice. I'm being. I'm being nice. <laughs> Improvement. Yeah. Uh, Quell, you're still hanging on to the skull. Yeah. Um, do I? Do I know the burial of squirrel folk or like Ooh. of the region? I don't know if there's more yeah. bones. I should go try to collect them. You if... might. Uh. Yeah. It's. Wow. Ooh, that's a good question. Give me a history check or something else. I always like to give you <clears throat> options. You know, it's probably going to be history, though. All right. Not crazy about it, but it, it's fine. Well, you know what? I'm going to give you advantage because okay. you you know other squirrel folk. Like, you live in an area where there are squirrel folk. So. Well, thank you for that advantage. 13. <laughs> Nice, nice. Yes, it is uh, preferred to have as much of the remains as possible um and uh to create a grave uh between the roots of a large tree is ideal okay um then i'm gonna go to the bone things and see if there's any other bones that seem okay. relatively size um and i'll check both bodies if need be so i'll probably use that instead of a short rest okay cool uh Fibbit? Do you have something else um, you're doing? May I? Uh, I guess. Uh, can I? Can I take the skull and I guess do a, a little arcana check on it? Yeah. Because if well, you want to hand it over, you're welcome to. Fibbit like and... like holds holds his hands out like. May I see it? I promise I won't break Be... it. I, I, okay. I'm Be not gentle. strong enough to do that. 
Okay, just don't do anything too weird to it. Okay. And I'll kind of like reluctantly hand it over. And Fibbit will reluctantly take it. <laughs> <laughs> that brings a little bit of comfort, yeah. slightly. Just don't drop it. <laughs> yeah. Fibbit will be very, very careful with it and like will, uh, I guess, um, let me see. Uh, I, I will do an arcana check, but I think what that will look like to everybody will like be them like just and like maybe like af- like after a very long time of consideration, like <laughs> you're gonna lick it just a little bit, yeah, just I just a tiny bit. He don't wanna, mm. but he, mm. he will. Sticky. <laughs> Um, okay. Any Sorry, geologist this, would this is very tell you morbid. that's absolutely how you do things. Okay. All right. Give me an arcana check. God, that that's a, yeah. Mm. That is a that's a dirty twenty. Oof. Well done. Okay. Um. And also, Quell, you can roll uh, an investigation check while we are uh, dealing with Fibbit's uh, search here. Yeah, you wiggle your little nose, get up close to it, squint at it. This the surface of the bone is is almost perfectly smooth. Um, you have not seen damage done to. Oops, what happened? Whoops, I did I freeze? Yeah, a little bit. Cool, 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 cool. Dope, dope. What do I do about that? I don't know. I'm gonna have to leave and come back. Is that okay for our? We'll take a quick break. You let's guys... take a quick break. Yeah, let's take a quick break. We'll be back in five minutes, y'all. Okay, perfect. Yep.
Welcome back, everybody. Thanks for hanging on. Uh, you know, since we just had a break, we might as well tell you our quick little rundown. Chris, are you down? I'm down. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Queer Be Dragons. Catch us every Sunday live on Twitch or catch up on our YouTube channel. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok at Queer Be Dragons. And once again, happy Pride, guys. Woo! Yeah. Every other Sunday. Okay. So, yeah, close enough on some Sundays that happen. Uh, so. Fibbit, you've just yes. given me an Arcana check. Yes. Arcana and it check. was a dirty 20. And it was a, it's a dirty 20. Yep. Excellent. So yeah, you're peering at the at the smooth surface of this bone. You give it a tiny little exploratory lick and you squint your little eyes shut and you try to connect with the knowledge, whatever knowledge you might have access to. Um, They'll also um, touch uh, a talisman that I think is um, a thing that's fastening their uh, their cloak closed, like at the base mm -hmm. of their neck. And the words sort of float to the surface of your mind. Gleaming white, smooth as marble, radiant power. Um, Fibbit takes a deep breath and, um, shoves, like, doesn't drop it, but, like, shoves it back towards, uh, shoves it back towards, uh, Quell, Cal, Quell, um, for, for her to take back. It was, it was, it was light magic power that, that made it, that, that's the reason. Okay. Well, that's at least good to know because this isn't normal. Mm -mm. It was probably yeah. It was like you know, ma magic with the lights. Mm -hmm. So well, that's not something those bone things can do, right? Mm. Not that you saw. So what probably what probably happened is he was infected by by some sort of light magic poison that I have now just put on my hands, and I am slowly going to lose all my fur and be burned to death and I will end up just like him. Your fur is start starting to stick together on your paws. <laughs> Did you have burial rites that you wanted us to perform? I was asking Tessie? Fibbit? No, I was asking Fibbit. Oh, Fibbit! <laughs> Fibbit! Fibbit, oh. like looks around like and is like i would like it to go away as soon as possible please okay well if you were afraid you were dying from the light going to like defer oh. you so I, don't, I wasn't sure if there was something honestly honestly i don't think there's any saving me i think i think this is how i go <laughs> okay so just lie you there then like i'll just major tickets course i'll just yeah I'll just, oh, oh, when I die? Yeah, when you die. <laughs> oh, um, oh, when, when I die, um, I would like not to. Is, is what I would like to happen. I would, okay. no, thank you. Even though you have, huh? You all have seen that happen yeah. once. The whole, like, actually, I prefer not to die thing. Like, that actually worked for Fibbit uh, a few minutes ago, <laughs> somehow, magically, so. <laughs> Seems legit. Yeah. So I mean, well, if I almost die like earlier, um, I've got I've got a little friend that like makes it so I don't. So. Then I guess you don't have anything to worry about, huh? Mm -hmm. And then I'll just kind of turn around. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, oh my. <laughs> uh, Quell, what did you do with your investigation? Uh, check? two. A two. Oh boy. There's some bones on these snails. I'll just collect all the bones. Cool. Sort cool, them cool, cool. maybe later. Yeah, you have no idea what they are, whose they are. You don't know if these are squirrel bones, fish bones. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, that's not, you know, might be a rock, to. like <laughs> possibly a very smooth rock. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, you do find, even with the two, I will say, there's 
uh, the these these whelks came from different directions, and there are some scraps of like detritus going away. The the one that had the skull attached to it came from the direction of the lake, and there are some additional kind of like scraps of just like stuff, including what might be some little bone pieces or little rocks or something heading uh, in the direction of the lake. So yeah, there might be additional pieces to find. You're not, you don't think you've assembled a full squirrel skeleton. Okay. But we, we also agreed on taking a sit down. Well, is not, not sitting down, I think, to okay. rest. You're, you're working on this, right? But the rest of yeah. you uh, do what you need to do for a short break. If you wish to. I would like to get my spells back. Yeah, do it. And also maybe use a, a, a hit die or two. Mm -hmm. So short break's going to be about half an hour. Quell, do you want to do anything additional? Do you want to pursue the, try to find the additional pieces that might have been dropped? Anything else that you want to do with your half hour? Yeah, I mean, venturing a little bit towards the direction of the lake where I think this large creature came from. Um, but I don't, I'm assuming that's probably further away. Um, it's not too far by now. You guys had walked a, a pretty f far distance. Uh, oh, I should also tell you it's probably about 11 or it might be about noon by now. It's like midday. Oh, okay. By now. Yeah. You guys, yeah, you guys walked for a few hours, a couple okay. hours. I'm and... fine venturing towards the lake then. Okay, great. Yeah, what so else you, I can you follow. Mm -hmm. There's some little shards, like it looks like where bones that were stuck to the snails might have like scraped on boulders or something and like chipped pieces off. You don't find any like whole pieces because they were <clears throat> stuck on pretty well. But the trail of this thing, the sort of slimy adhesive that it leaves leads you down you sort of uh come over a little like a little ridge a little sort of line of boulders and look down and you can see that it continues to the edge of the lake which you are now fairly close to maybe 40 feet off 50 feet away from the edge of the lake and it continues straight up to the edge like at a perpendicular angle like this thing came out of the lake or was on a boat. Yeah. <laughs> so there doesn't seem to be any sort of like cavern little hut area where it called its home or like mm -mm. Okay. just straight into that lake apparently. And yeah. I would say you know enough about natural stuff and critters and things to know that a snail, this kind of snail, can probably be underwater somewhat. Okay. Probably not forever, but a little while. Uh, did I find any additional like bones on the route? Uh... Make a perception check for me this time. I rolled an 18, so 19. Nice, nice, okay. You did not find any additional pieces, but as you sort of take stock of what you've got, <laughs> uh, you can see that only a few of these bones have that kind of like brilliant white sheen to them. The others look like they, they may have been from creatures who were killed or died in a different way. There's there's only some of them that have that quality to them. This thing, these things, these these snails pick up bones from wherever they can get them. They're like so. horrifying, like uh, Katamari. Uh, they are like yeah. horrifying <laughs> Katamari with antennae. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, accurate. I would probably just um, walk back and share a bit of the information with Ahalan, especially at being water. 
don't imagine I'm that fond of swimming, so uh... probably not. Yeah, I will also say that from the spot that you were kind of like overlooking the lake shore more closely, you can see that yeah, the trees kind of open up. There's a little bit of like like pebbly, not quite sand, but kind of a pebbly like little beach area, and the lake opens up. It is it is massive. You see there are a couple of you you see that there are a couple of little dwellings along the edge of the lake here and there. There are people who live down here. And there is an that island, which you are now closer to, uh, still pretty far out in the middle, in the center, uh, sort of on the west side of the lake. Um, you can see that there's a little, probably a little structure on it. So there's, there's some people that live around here too. But yeah, you head back and fill in Ahlin and the group on what you found. Maybe we should talk to some of the people around there first, but I wouldn't mind taking a dip. You're muted, Quell. Sorry, sometimes the voice just it comes out pretty <laughs> silent. Uh, only some of these bones seem to have like a really whiteness, so I don't... I mean, they're really large, so I'd imagine someone would see it come out. I don't know where else these things would have come from. But I don't know, it's odd. Fibbit had done a little bit of a research thing on the bones. Fibbit. <laughs> <laughs> Shoves the hood of their uh, <laughs> of their cloak over their face to hide. Your paws stick to the edge of the cloak yeah. a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like when when my paws stick to the edge of the cloak and I like have to like pull it and it like it kind of feels like Velcro, but it goes ah. Yeah, Quell, you you wiped your hands off on some leaves. You're good. Yeah. <laughs> and can you not use any water to try to get that off your hands, Fibbit? The, the light magic disease. Isn't it just the stickiness from those giant snails? Uh, uh, <laughs> if it is, like, oh, probably, huh? <laughs> yeah, it does make sense, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, maybe I'm not dying this time. All right. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> and then he'll like go to the lake and just. You gonna head down there and wash your paws off? Okay. Yeah. Uh, it does not come off in water. It is not water soluble. <laughs> <laughs> you have oh to scrape God. it off. Quell oh. can show you how to oh. scrape it off on some <laughs> rocks or leaves or something. Yeah, think... you're gonna lose some hair, but that's fine. Not yeah. a lot. I think like. Yeah, I think like Fibbit will like go down there and like try to um will like yeah, try to get it <clears> off <throat> with the water and like do the do the even though he's a rabbit, we'll try to do like those Yeah, they sort yeah. of. Yeah. They also like sh I think rats do that at least like shake their yeah. paws off really fast. They'll like mm. we'll, we'll do a bunch I don't of know that if stuff. Bunnies do that. But then we'll start freaking out again when it doesn't come off. <laughs> it's like, "Oh my god, this is mm -hmm. my life now. <laughs> I'm like this forever." <laughs> I'll just collect some uh, little leaves. <laughs> at the meantime, of like watching Fibbit like at the lake, Struggle. kind of panicking. Uh, I'm not gonna say anything until like they f physically start like, what is happening? Yeah. Um, and at that point, I'll just like Fibbit, and then <laughs> I'll throw a bunch of like leaves and branches like towards your hands for you to catch. <laughs> um, Fibbit will snatch her hands away. <laughs> Literally, instead of catching it, Fibbit will physically jump back. Look at it. Ooh, look. That works better. Oh. You just um, take them up and thanks. rub them all together. It helps adhere to the the stickiness and get it off your hands. And then um, I use that rock over there. Once you get all the leaves and the bristles stuck to, you kind of just like wipe that on the rock and your hands are clean. Uh, uh, 
Thank you. Yep. And then he'll, 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 <laughs> turn yeah. around with me. Uh-huh. Yeah, and literally as soon as Qual turns around, Fibbit will snatch up those leaves and like will try to <laughs> do what all the things Qual said like as fast as possible. Uh, Quell, I will say that this gives you an extra piece of information, which is that the adhesive works underwater. Yeah, that I'll have that like thought mm-hmm. as I walk away. Like, oh, wait a second. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna head over to Devin and Tessie, and just kind of crouch down next to them. We, you are sitting. Um. Yeah, Devin, have you been doing anything in particular during this time? Okay, nope. cool, cool. I've literally <clears throat> just been holding Tess, Tessie and like rocking her while she grieves because she needs somebody here for her. So I'm letting my party members do other jobs. I'm trusting them to do jobs. And while I comfort this poor woman, this poor squirrel lady. I'll put my hand on uh, Tessie's shoulder. Do you want us to take you anywhere? Do you have friends? Mm. Uh, not a lo- lot. But I don't want to go home without him. curls up like a little pill bug in Devin's lap. Do you want us to take you back to the inn? I'll look at Devin and then kind of look back at the other two that are kind of a bit away and then back at Devin. I can can take take her up. It's fine. I'll even give the in Kate some money for for her. As much as I want to go for a swim, I kind of think we should maybe rest for the rest of the evening. Swim would be nice, though. Swim would be lovely. But it is only noon as a reminder. We're not going to get sleep anytime soon. FYI. Oh, it is a bit early. <sighs> okay. Maybe I'll chip her back up in the water. But we should take care of Tessie. Would you all like us to go with you? Uh huh. No, I think I can handle walking up a hill and going to the inn but well there were those big explosions the other day oh hi as if on cue oh geez Uh ahlin (laughs) ahlin that's amazing thank you for saying that ahlin devon and fibbit Quell, how is your past perception lower than all these? That's right. I'm, uh, I'm wise. I'm wise as shit. You are you wise as shit. <laughs> you hear from sort of down lakeside, but further to the east of the faint sound of a detonation <laughs> and a muffled. Fibbit makes a mad dash back to Devin and like immediately like hides behind her back. And that's all. All right. Um. Oh, Fibbit says it's coming from us. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> this is it. We're gonna die. The, the explosions are just gonna get closer and closer, and then. And then we're we're just gonna die a fiery death. This is this is how we go. I don't want to leave Tessie here. She is 
Pussy, do you it. know anybody at the village down there by the lake? Sorry. There's a few people down. I don't know them well. I guess she's coming with us, gang. Well, you can now hear this too. There's something crunching, something large crunching through the underbrush in the direction that that explosion came from. May may I do a perception check to- Yes. Yeah, like- Fibbit's, Anybody who wants to be wel are welcome to. Yeah, Fibbit's ears will like pop up and start making little, you know, listening. Oh, not good. 10. Oh, like shit. Yeah. Um, I got a, I got a 15. Five. Ten. Okay. Four. Okay. Uh, Fibbit, you can make it out with your big fluffy ears. Yep. And predators. This is or not. Three <laughs> senses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> this is not this, the sort of steady sound, crunching sound that the bone whelks made. This is footfalls or paws, like large, heavy footfalls. And it is coming unsteadily in your direction. Fibbit, uh, Fibbit will like kind of will like literally adhere themselves to to Devin's back to like reach her ear as she's like sitting. Even though you're sitting still, correct? Yeah. And says, "There is a giant four-footed monster that is coming to eat us right now. We're." I only have two legs now. We all only have two legs, and the only one that's going to be able to get away is Kel. And then, because because she has wings, right? It, but we only have two legs, and pe things on four legs are Vivit. so much faster. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. You are going to bring them our way. <laughs> Can. With, I guess I'm just gonna carry Tess. <laughs> Tessie, poor thing. I'm gonna try and like baby Bjorn her to my big body. <laughs> she accepts. With my <laughs> she has good, like, good, she can yeah. hang on to a vertical surface so, pretty easily. So I'm just gonna baby Bjorn her to my big <laughs> cow lady body. And I'm gonna stand up and look in that direction. And maybe I will see something with my height. I don't know. Yeah, you can see, in, again, not, it's kind of a little farther down towards the shore, but there is a large uh, shape okay. crashing unsteadily okay. through the underbrush, making angry noises. Perfect. Perfect. That's what I wanted. Yeah. Okay. It's, uh, you've got, well, it's how, how far away is it? Probably 60 feet away, but, you know. It's getting, Gonna you know, that six, uh, six more seconds, uh, you know, six seconds at 30 feet or so per second. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk per, that per way. Six, for turn. Uh, okay. Right, is everybody else yeah, following? Real quick, we have had yes. a posture check. Oh, my redeemed. gosh. So everybody take okay. a second to just kind of do Excellent. a good stretch. little stretch and make sure you're not creating a hump in your spine okay by, by hunching okay so fibbit uh devin is going to going towards mm -hmm. the sound fibbit is just like um uh, and then like looks at ahlin and quell like with the Oh, but it's... We just see like Ahlen's cheeks go up because she's smiling underneath her veil <laughs> and she follows Devin in like almost like a little skip. But did, did you guys not hear? I said it was so big and it's got four paws and it's, and it's gonna eat us. Oh my God. Okay. 
Devin, you are the first person who can make out what this is. Ahlan, you are close behind. Quell, you're welcome to come along. Yeah, I'll just stick all the bones I have in a bag and then yeah. just try <laughs> okay. after that. Because I, I don't want to just leave them there. Yeah. I did a lot, a lot of work collecting. Fair. 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 So, uh, Devin, you watch as this shape, like, crunches through a bunch of brambles, bumps into a tree. Uh, you can see a little bit of smoke is rising from it, drifting off of it as you get closer. Uh, it comes into view, a massive, easily as tall as you are, Devin, heavily furred figure, broad shoulders on all fours, uh, a huge ursine person, a bear person, uh, smoldering. <laughs> this, this, this person has clearly just run into one of these landmines and is like slightly still on fire on one side and is just like making like resonant growling and pain noises and like looks up at you teeth bared hey we're friends friends i pull out like my water skin and kind of like dump a little bit of out to like say that I want to help them. Oh, wait, I can speak with animals cause I'm a fur bold person. Uh, so I have okay. speech and a speech of beast and leaf. I can communicate okay. with though, not understand beasts and plants and have advantage on charisma checks to influence them. Ooh. So I'm going to, with my fur bold personality. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pull out my water skin and put it like on a cloth and I'm saying friends, here, okay. here to help. Is that something you roll for? No. From this, this well, is just I could have. I could. I have advantage on charisma checks to influence them. So okay. let's do that. If yeah, you let's want make me a, to roll, I will. Let's do like a persuasion check at advantage. Okay. And I will say, for purposes of this sort of world, yeah. this ability will enable you to speak in the language of other folk. So cool. you would be able to speak. Uh, Bear, bear speak basically Urs, ursin yeah language bear speak that's exciting so i i got a 16. okay and yeah what do you what do you say you just say we're friends yeah i say friends i'm here to help you you look like you're on fire and i'm like dump putting my water like on my and like showing like going to help you put mm -hmm. out the bear folk like slams their paws like I'm uncomfortably close to you. Yeah, I'm staying my ground. Picks up the like sw swipes up the water skin with one giant paw and just like starts dumping it over their shoulder where the smoldering is. That's fine. Bears their teeth, looks into your eyes, and says, "Thank you so much, honey. I don't know what happened back there, but." It was fire, I think. Do you know what that was? She's now like dumped your entire water skin all over oh, fine. her shoulder. There's water I can clear. Uh, yeah. Oh my God. Now what I want to do that accident. <laughs> <laughs> now I want to do that accident. <laughs> my Midwestern's coming out. I'm sorry. Um, oh, you betcha. Is it, oh, yeah, betcha. Um, I'm going to, unfortunately, I, I do, it, they're bombs. They what now? Explosions? It sure was. I, I I've never seen anything or, like that down I, here. I stepped on one earlier and <laughs> same thing happened to me. You, I'm it so is. sorry. And I just like, with my wet towel, like that I, I start like kind of help gently, like patting the little smoky bits on her, like, she sits I, back I, on her haunches and lets you help yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm sure I'll pull out like, yeah, because I'm proficient in medicine and nature. So I'll pull out like some herbs from home and kind of like start grinding them up a little bit to like create almost like an aloe and start like putting it on her burns. Oh, that, that's nice. You got some purslane there. I think I recognize that. That's good. Thank you so much. Yeah. She's wearing, you can see now uh, an apron, which is like soot covered 
now and she's got like uh, a skirt underneath it she just takes off the apron it's like it's starting to kind of crumble she just takes that off entirely and someone, flops it to one side <sighs> someone's been digging up holes and been burying things to create these explosions well who would do that here in no this idea. nice place no idea why would you do such a thing no idea. i've never seen anything like it in all my years are you <sighs> from here i sure am sweetie oh hi hi i'm so sorry uh thank you uh, uh my name is well my name is ursula my daddy had a sense of humor but um thank you so much for your help uh who who am i speaking to i don't think i've seen you folks here before oh no i'm from the lake that way um but i'm devin and i like hold out my hand oh devin yeah she yeah. shakes your hand with a and i'm paw. still cradling you have big hands but like, i do yeah. i'm big oh. lady big lady <laughs> but i'm like still cradling poor tessie and i'm just like and this is tessie oh hi, hi there sweetheart she reaches a massive paw over and just like very gently and sweetly like pets yeah. the back of tessie's head who does not yeah. respond no i'm like she's having a world okay damn that accent oh, i'm so um, sorry it's not your fault <laughs> it's not your fault i'm um she's having a bit of a day she's having i think bad. i've seen her before is that is that chichivo is that you darling uh tessie's sort of like opens one eye and just like <laughs> she doesn't she doesn't reply but yeah the clearly ursula at least recognizes her oh and um this is my compatriots my party oh my god my accent is all over the place i'm sorry friends i'm the worst <clears throat> i'm a terrible influence it's not your fault just here to make your life harder. It's okay. Oh, we got bits. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you for the bits, Roku. We got, ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yay. The um, bits. If this. The bits. Lol, there it. it is. This I love lovely it. part, what? Fib bits. Yeah, yeah fib bits. bits. Oh They're my just, God, I'm, I'm happy. I call them now. Fibbits. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this lovely person here is Auckland. Hello. Hey. Oh, aren't you pretty? You're Best such a pretty thing. That's oh. quail. The beautiful sunset. Pleasure, and pleasure. That's my little nervous friends there, Fibbit. I um I think uh may I make a stealth check to be hiding behind <laughs> a tree and watching from afar. Sure. Uh <laughs> yeah, yeah, go ahead. I don't expect this to be very good because I'm not good at stuff. Yeah, it's going to be even harder once Devin points back at you. Of course, that is a 19 on the die, making it a dirty oh 20. Oh uh, yeah, God. Devin, you gesture backwards, but you had a, you don't actually know. You can't see <laughs> Fibbit. They're probably back there somewhere. I think, um, but I do think when when Fibbit is, je like, when Devin mentions Fibbit specifically, Fibbit will, like, poke his head out from behind a tree and look at her look at ursula very cautiously okay well i see i see something furry back there so uh hi there you you come out when you feel ready okay sweetheart now listen you y'all need some lunch or something you know i just baked a pie my place is down that way you want to sit i gotta get myself a new apron because this one's all done for vivid's head pokes out what kind of pie? Uh, today it's a uh, it's strawberry pie, cause that what was what was what was in season. You know we do seasonal around here. Local. St strawberry. Straw mm-hmm. You like strawberry? She like hunkers down and makes herself a little smaller, cause she can see that you're anxious and she a big lady. Yeah. Fibbit, <laughs> like very slowly come out <laughs> and just kind of like you can see you can see their nose like twitching 
as they like sniff and, and like they're holding their cloak closed and like slowly approach. Okay, well, come on now. You need yeah. some help carrying her, she says to uh, you, Devin. Oh, no. No, she's All right. barely anything. You're a big, strong gal. I like that. Okay, uh, come on now. I want to hear everything you know about about this business. So yes. uh, keep hey. an eye out. Watch your paws, you know. Let's go. Come on now, this way. I, I would sort of suggest there. staying on the path. There's a I path think. down by the the water side that she points out. She says, "Yeah, that sounds good. Let's let's go let's go down by the water." Yeah. And uh, we've already yeah. passed out this current area down. I'm assuming to the lake, so that we know where all the detonations are. So you guys have been able to keep an eye out at this point. Like yeah. Quell knows what they look like. Like you each kind of yeah. know what the. It's pretty f like you've noticed that the ground is pretty freshly dug up over yeah. them, and you are able to tell where they are. Uh, Quell, you did see a couple more down by, uh, when you headed off to follow the trail to the lake. So I'll there let. are more. There are definitely more of them out here. Okay. I'll I'll I would Quelly. just point them out as well. Just be like, hey. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and I'll you will Quelly. find a couple more on the trail. Uh, actually that she's taking but you guys are able to avoid them uh and she she puts a stick in next to each one so she can tell where it is later <laughs> uh yeah maybe anything you want to do while you walk yeah i'll just talk to ursula i love her i love her so much i'll just say like have you seen seen anything weird lately weird like like what kind of weird weird like weird bugs or like weird like you know well mysterious uh, what kind of weird we uh, not really we fought these giant snails uh, and weird shells that I've only ever seen in some books. The big with the bones mm -hmm. they got stuck to? They attacked yeah. us. Did they now? Well, you know. And I just I didn't guess. know if you had hmm. seen or heard anything weird. She sort of strokes her like chin floof. Well, I, I suppose everybody's got to eat, you know. Uh, yeah, I've seen those. It's been years since I've seen them, but we we get them once in a while. I I probably saw last one I saw was maybe seven eight years ago. You know, they're around here and there. Not a lot of them, but they're gross looking things. You know, but they just pick up they just pick up whatever kind of bones and like stuff they can find and make shells out of it. You know, because they can't grow their own sort of thing. So um, yeah, yeah, uh, that's not. Terror, it's unusual, but it's not a cause for worry. I wouldn't think these 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 bombs that you called is that the word you used? Though that seems like a whole different, worse sort of thing to me, at least. I I um the the bone whelks. There were two. Mm, that's the one. Two. There are two of them. Two. Gross. Gross and things. Do you know if they're? prone to eating folk or just Mommy. meditation. Let's see what she knows here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll for, oh yeah, yeah, good, good, good. Uh, yeah, they, they don't exactly eat like meat, you know, like fresh meat, but they get a bit defensive, I think. So that might've been, I mean, did you move first? Or did they attack you first because they might have been defending themselves, you know? Uh, yeah, they they live in the water some of the time, I think. You know, like a whelk does. I, but two is unusual, but I, I don't know. I, I wouldn't raise a red flag about it necessarily. Hmm. Okay. Well, you're yeah. Do you find anything local. good stuck to them? Because sometimes they pick up some good stuff. You know, I found uh, like a really beautiful polished stone stuck to one once. 
I found it, it had already died. This was when I was probably like eight years old, you know, and my daddy said not to go up to it, but it was a real pretty stone. You know, I think I still have it somewhere. I can find it and show it to you if you like. Oh, all right, that would be very nice. Um, we did find some things. Um, oh, any good chance. treasures? Haven't had a chance to really sit down and look. Okay, well, we'll be sitting down in a minute here. So yeah. she's leading you. Uh, you can now see a little house, uh, a little lakeside house that she's heading towards. It's got a little fenced in garden outside. Looks pretty overgrown, like a, you know, like a kind of a cottage garden sort of vibe. Mm -hmm. uh, did Fibbit, did you want to do anything? In particular? Oh, uh, Was that a, sorry. like a. Fibbit, um, Fibbit almost uh, like opens, opens his mouth to be like, well, we did find one thing that was awful, but then decides not to. Character growth, everyone. Yeah, so soon, <laughs> I'm so proud. <laughs> well, mostly because uh, the conversation moved on before he could say anything, because it takes a minute for him to work out the ability to speak to this woman. <laughs> so there you go. This little yeah. fun little fibbit tidbit. Tibbit, tibbit. Uh, tibbit. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, Ursula will open the gate to her garden, lead you guys in. She's got some, she's got, like, it's partly a kitchen garden. She's got some veggies and things, and a mushroom patch, and uh, and some pretty flowers. She's, she's working on her spring garden, which she happily tells you about, points out the different flowers. She knows all of their names. Oops, sorry, I hit my microphone. Knows all their names and leads you into her house, which is pretty modest. It's like a two room house. Looks like there's one bedroom and there's a, a main room. It's got a hearth, uh, which she does not have lit at the moment, but she bustles around asking you if you want tea. There's a big rough hewn uh, table sort of in the center of the, the room. That's clearly the centerpiece of the home. Looks like the top has been polished from years of, of use and being wiped down and and uh, yeah, she finds a new apron, puts it on, starts making tea. Um, where, where's, where, pie? Oh, honey, you want some pie now? I haven't even finished making the tea. All right. You're eager, aren't you? What was your name again? She Fib big nose down to peer at you. Fibbit. Fibbit. Well, that's a cute name. Your daddy name you that? I don't have a dad. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. I shouldn't have said that. Okay, let me get you a slice of pie. Uh, she dishes up for you, Fibbit, a bear-sized slice of pie. This pie is a, a very large, and it is like three slices worth for you. Um, puts it on a smooth piece of bark, which she uses as plates, and she'll hand out pieces, slices to everybody if you want some. Really Ahlan, quick. I assume you decline. Oh, go ahead. Oh, really quick. Thank you for the bits. Failed Asian. Bits. Nice. Thanks, Thanks bits. failed Asian. Thank 69 you. 69 bits. Oh, nice. 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, Fibbit, like, takes it, takes, takes the strawberry pie with reverent paws. Eyes dilated. <laughs> Look, looks up at this woman with adoration, love, Aww. just fierce loyalty before it's it's new mom. Before sitting down and immediately face first in that pie. I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Syrup like dripping off your whiskers. It is. Good. Gory. It is good pie. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> Truly. Red red juice, red mm -hmm. syrup. Yeah. I'm going to start untying Tessie from me on mm. baby Bjorning her. She can still she's, sit in my lap if she wants. But. She's gone pretty limp. Um, she's She went through a period of hyperventilating. She went through, she's, like, she's gone through some stages and she's she's exhausted now like you can see that her her she's kind of shutting down like yeah. which is probably a good thing yeah. like she needs to just shut down turn her brain off and Ursula, yeah, it's too you, much to process do you mm. have 
a, a bed that I can maybe put Tessie in. Oh, sure. You can just go into the next room over there, just through that door. Well, there's only one door, isn't there? So just through that door there, you'll find it. Okay. I'm just going to go gently put her in there. Okay. I think I'm going to take my cloak off that I've been having her in and kind of like cover her with it. Apparently it's a thing I do. I give people my cloak and just like tuck Tessie in and just tell her like, if if you need me, just in the other room and I'm going to leave the door kind of cracked a little bit. So then I'm going to come back to the group. Okay. Yeah, she just squinches her eyes shut and just like pulls the cloak like up over her little face. So only her eyes are peeking out. She's she's little in this massive bed. Like the bed takes up most of the room. Mm-hmm. There's a little bit of like kind of sideways walking space around the bed, but it's mostly bed. And she's a little island in the middle of it on this like calico comforter. <laughs> she's got your cloak up and she just like, yeah, hunches, hunches up and okay. it's quiet. Everybody taking some pie and well, she'll offer one to, to you, Ahlin. I'm assuming you're not going to want a slice necessarily. Um, no, thank you. Um, I prefer things that are a little bit more, um, as you land folks say, on the way out. Oh, okay, okay. I see. I see. Uh, let's see here. I'll, what might I'll, I have? I'll take it instead. I'll take it instead. The pie is already gone. <laughs> <laughs> she she eyeballs you says okay you just don't make yourself sick now okay sweetheart and she puts the plate down in front of you (laughs) and Ah. she's gonna go rummage around uh yeah she's got a cellar there's a little cellar door she lumbers down and you can hear the sound of rummaging around she's trying to find you something um miss ursula you've been here a Mm -hmm. long time oh i've been here Hmm, let's see here well i'm not well i'm not gonna tell you how old i am but uh, yeah, I, I've been here for a while. I, I'd say I grew up here, you know. So, in in the big booms with the fire, they they're new to you. Uh, that is brand new as of about what was it like forty five minutes ago? Yeah, that is not okay. So we're gonna have to figure out who did that and why because uh, I'm gonna have words with them. Is what I'm gonna do. That's you quite said understandable. You, there was uh, another. Don't, did you say this around her? That there was another boom up on the. Yeah. Remember if you said that. I said that the, that I got boomed. Oh, okay, okay. You didn't talk about. Not yet. The yesterdays. Okay, I think that was a conversation right before you guys met her. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You you get you got fire too. You got lit on fire as well. Oh, and I'll show like scorch marks on like my poor hoof and my fur is singed on my leg. Yeah, I think you guys had seen there was fire damage, but there were a couple of other types as well. I think one did cold oh, damage, yeah, as I recall. Right, yes. And I'm not sure if one did lightning damage or not. Definitely <gasps> cold and fire both happened. I... But there were multiple types. Fibbit mm-hmm. raises their hand. She can't see you, she's in the cellar. Yeah. Uh, well, Fibbit is um, upon uh, hearing this uh, sequence of a thing. Uh, I'm choosing uh, to frame this as an epiphany on Fibbit's part. Um, Fibbit raises uh, his hand to everybody in the room. Fibbit. I. I have. I have a, a theory that I think is probably right about. Um, the untimely uh, Fibbit looks at, at at Tessie. She's, She's in, in the another other room. room. Oh, yeah. oh, right. I am so sorry. I'm so no, sorry. You're good. So you're you're good to speak. She probably can't yeah. hear you very well okay. as long as you don't holler. The um, okay. If that case, if Tessie is not there, uh, Fibbit will not say untimely. Fibbit will say a theory about the awful and horrific uh, <laughs> the the awful awful and horrific burning of um, Tessie's husband. Um, he probably died from one of those mines and then got shorted up by one of the whelks. Ursula's top of her head, her little tiny ears appear over the edge of the cellar. The what now? He what now? 
piss. Fibbit shoves uh, a piece of pie in their mouth. She climbs out looking concerned and um, holding a bundle of wilted kale, which she puts in front of you. Uh, Ahlin, it's starting to rot around the edges. Tessie's uh, husband died. Well, went, went missing. Okay. A night to go. God, my accent. Okay. Um, and she came to the inn mm-hmm. looking for help. We decided to help and came across the two whelks along with the ground explosions. And hmm. after we had killed the whelks, um, one of the whelks had a squirrel skull attached that we have confirmed, or at least somewhat confirmed, that is Tessie's husband. And when the boom ground explosions happened to us, there were two different types. There was one that like froze us and then one that was fire. My and God, it, that's awful. Yeah, that's why Tessie's in such a fit. Shoot, I just thought she was having an afternoon nap or a midday nap, you know, I should have. No, well, I'm so sorry, I didn't realize. It's okay, it's okay, she's, no, she's grieving. Well, you know, I mean, a couple of you got hit with these things, things. I, I don't know if it would, you know, turn somebody just to bones. That seems like excessive. It's not, not strong. Yeah, excessive. Yeah. You know, and the, the Welks wouldn't have done it. They, they would have picked it up somewhere. Mm. Did you see where they came from? Uh, I followed the trail down to the lake, but from the water. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Something isn't adding up for us either. No. If he went missing last night, Was he down in this area last night? Is he Was he supposed to be down here? We, from what Tessie has told us, he likes to leave and go geocaching. He'll oh, take, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, I, that's I, good fun. She says that he will leave late and, oh. and later in the day, go out afternoon and walk. come back yeah and come back um before 11 12 right. according to her and he never came back last night and he never came back yeah the, do you the map that tessie gave us was in this general area which is why we started right. search over here but okay so he came up against something that do you have his, I'm so sorry, to, uh, this is awful. Do you have his, did you say you have his remains? Oh, we did you? Yeah. I mean, I don't know, I don't know anything. You know, I'm not magic or, or anything, but I'd be curious to see if you don't mind. She looks over at the room and just like shuts the door all the way. <laughs> what? I, uh, this is pretty morbid, but... um. You know, if this is happening, I'm not going to say it's my forest exactly, but it's sort of my forest and I want to know, you know, so. What could have also happened, um, Fibbit says, as they like nibble on the um, on the piece of pie that they have, it's mostly gone, but they have slowed down. Um, what if the, the awful demon that stole the color from my dreams, um, what if Tessie's husband fell upon them and then they 
turned uh, Tessie's husband into bones and then dropped the bones upon one of the mines that does uh, that does light magic damage and then got slurped up by one of those whelks. Well, that's a lot of things, you know, but mm-hmm. I guess don't rule it out. <laughs> Just shake my head and... <laughs> I've decided this is Fibbit <laughs> Fibbit has a wonderful mind is what I've just decided. Very imaginative. Yeah. <laughs> and uh I'll go ahead and hand over I guess the skull a little tenderly. Uh this is the main part. There's some other bones oh, in dang. here and I don't know if you want to see the rest, but I don't think all of these are his bones. There's definitely a lot more than what a squirrel yeah. has. Yeah, they would have been picking stuff up for, you know, the last year or so. So, dang. i never seen any that she's holding it. It's tiny in her big old paws. She's got, you know, three inch claws at least. i never seen anything like this. This ain't natural, you know. That's That's not you know, bones shouldn't look like that. I figure you know that already. I just that's that's from the ma- the the light radiant magic, the bleaching radiant magic. I don't know about that, but well, that's what. So I yeah. um I licked it and found out um that that it was magic that made it look like that, and it was radiant magic. She fully accepts yeah. that. Like she does not look concerned or question that in the slightest (laughs) is there anyone around here who might know of this particular magic I like raise my hand oh lucky for us and I'll just like not send it anywhere but kind of cast like sacred flame in my hand and I'm like ooh well that's pretty fancy did you you want to take a a look at this I know you were holding her earlier so I yeah I I can. I can do something. Medicine, you can, nature. if you want to just do a check. Yeah. <clears throat> I would say, let's see here. Yeah, you can do a medicine check or an arcana check. Mm, I'm going to go mm. with what I'm good with. Yeah, I know. Arcana is probably not going to be. No. Ooh. For you, but medicine will cover it. Uh, dirty 20. Beautiful. <clears throat> yeah, especially since Fibbit already sort of, you know, was beating around this bush. Uh, this was radiant damage. This was extremely powerful radiant damage, far more than one of those mines could have inflicted, uh, which or, is something you already, you know, you already suspected. Is it but, possible that I could have done this? Like, would I have bleached the bones <clears throat> in attacking the whelks? That is a good question. No, this is... This is more extreme power than you are capable of. Okay. And you can do some pretty solid radiant damage, but this is like times 10. Okay. 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 It is. Yeah. You've, you've seen, you know, other um, clerics and other druids, other, you know, magic user users in your home do very powerful uh, divine or, or nature-based or radiant magics, like those things you've all seen before, and it would have to have been probably even stronger than anything you've ever witnessed. Okay. okay. Yeah. That it is it is striking. Okay. Yeah, I'll just I'll tell the group kind of looking at it like well, um <clears throat> good news. I didn't do this. Um, but the thing or person that did very strong. Well, you know, we don't have any like experts, magic experts up here. You know, people who come out here tend to be well, sort of folk that aren't you know, looking to get real powerful and impress people. Those are the city folk, you know, like in Celestir and and whatnot. Uh, There's, 
Well, there's... I mean, the fellow that rents out the house is sort of magical, but I don't know if I've ever seen him do anything like that. He's a nice guy, you know. It was probably him. Huh. Um, Where what? did you say? Oh, go ahead. I didn't mean to interrupt you, sweetheart. No, no. Um, where does he live? Do you have his name? Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm, so, I'm, no, no, I'm no, just no. in my own head here. Yeah, no, no. I, I, you know, I also own a house out on the island out there, and you so, do? and we do. I do, I do. Well, my family does. You know, I, I like this little place. We we used to have that big old house out there, and I don't, I don't, I don't stay there myself anymore because I like my little garden here. But, uh, you know, I just rent it out, like sort of short term, you know, rental, like a. I like to call it like a water B and B, you know. Oh. So, uh, uh, and there's a fella uh, that comes out and rents it uh, once in a while from the city. Um, looking up his name. Yeah, he's a he's a professor, you know, from uh, from the university in Celestier. Mm-hmm. Uh, I- Helen, you are familiar with this, very familiar with this university, as you have, uh, you have spent time there. Yeah, he's a nice guy. He's been out here for, um, oh, maybe, maybe a week or so. You know, he keeps to himself. I mean, some folks from the city like to just come out here and get some peace and quiet. I think, you know, he's got very large ears, uh, you know, because he's a goblin. And and I think that the city noises, you know, kind of get to him. So he likes the peace and quiet. So he comes out here every, oh, maybe like six months or so and stays for a couple weeks and brings his stuff to study. You know, I talk to him about that sometimes. I don't understand any of it. But, uh, yeah, so uh, Professor... Uh, Professor Fino, well, I call him Fino. His name's Professor Scarab, but uh, yeah, he's out there, you know, he's out there, uh, but uh, I don't think he does the powerful level of magic that you're talking about, and certainly nothing like, I mean, he had a, well, he had a bonfire last night, at least, that I saw, which was pretty impressive, but I figure he was just cooking some hot dogs or something, you know? Has uh, Alan ever been in contact with this professor before? Ooh, make me a history check or should I give you another option? Do, do, do. Where's the character sheet? Would probably be history. Yeah. That's a good old seven. Good old seven. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, The name sounds familiar. Mm -hmm. yeah there's a there's a pretty long roster of professors at the university i think you might have heard of professor scarab but you don't know him did i have any particular contacts there at that university any clients uh yeah you had a few clients there uh he was not among them a couple of other of other people a couple of other professors and you also know the dean of the university as well uh dean whiskers I'm familiar with it at the university. Um, I could always reach out to them if we ever have any more questions. Maybe they would have any, maybe they would have some insight into this magic. Okay. You look pretty fancy. I should have known. That's the real nice outfit you got on. Oh, thank you. This is from my home. Well, where's that? Da, 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 let me look at my notes. Da, da. <laughs> look at my notes do, 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 do. look at the notes well, you must be from the, I figure you must be from the ocean so I probably wouldn't know it even if you said it I'm I not she, sure if I, I gave you the name of the place <laughs> I <laughs> don't I'm, having a, uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm uh-huh. having a sudden realization that I may not have actually given you that information. I think cool. we mentioned it, but I don't remember. Dope. I don't remember offhand either. Sea, totally fine. Don't worry about world. it. Yeah, you say something in your native tongue and she is like, that sounds lovely. Ocean <laughs> land. <laughs> sea world. Whatever <laughs> primordial sounds like. Pangea? Oh yeah, she does not know primordial. Pangea. 
Uh, well, well, I, yeah, I don't know anything really about all that city stuff, but, uh, yeah, that's, this is pretty, pretty brutal, isn't it? You said, she turns to you, Quell, you said it came out of the, this came from the water. That's my assumption. I followed the trail down from where we had our battle and it seemed to lead to the water. Well, I'm not going to be any help there. I mean, you can imagine me swimming. I can do it, but it's like, um, it's sort of a waterlogged affair. You know, I'm I, pretty slow. I prefer my water so. more shallow, so but I understand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think I can be much more help. I mean... Do you know a lot of the other houses in this area? I think I saw a few. There's a couple folks, a couple few of them houses are, are seasonal. You know, people just come out for the summertime, so they haven't gotten here yet. There's a few that are just boarded up. Um, but yeah, there's a couple other folks around here. None of them magic at all. You know, they keep to themselves for the most part. That's why you come out here to live. You just want some peace and quiet. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's quite nice here. You've got your own little slice of paradise. I think so too. I'm glad I, you see it like that. I hate that there are mines and um, bone walks that slurp you up. And also, well, they, they only slurp you up when you're dead, sweetheart. So you don't have to worry about that yet. Okay. But there's also probably a monster in the lake. Probably not. But you know, you got a good imagination and I really appreciate that. You never know. There's a lot of water. In oh, I'm lake. pretty sure I would have noticed something. There's some big it. old fish. You want to, what now? Sorry. Oh, I could go confirm it right now. I could just jump in there. Oh, you're welcome to. You know, it's real nice and cool this time of year. So, hmm. yeah. There's a dock right out here. Uh, she points out her little uh, kitchen window. You can see she's got a little dock. Oh, uh, Helen, just. Hmm? Beware the sticky stuff. I don't know if it changes texture, but it doesn't work washing off in water. Oh. What if you got stuck on okay. something underwater and then um, because you were stuck on it underwater, the monster that's probably in there ate you? Luckily, I can breathe underwater. I'm from there. But, but like, but, but if there's a monster, it wouldn't matter if you can breathe underwater because you would get eaten. Hmm. I don't know about that. I'm pretty capable. But if you were stuck, because capable, hmm. I don't think I'll get stuck. Okay. Hmm. Do you want me to wait? Can you swim? No. Fibbit like covers covers their face with their or no, Fibbit like pulls the, the hood down over their face. You now are getting uh yeah. strawberry syrup on the tips of your ears. Um, yeah, that's fine. That's more yeah. Huh? This whole pie situation well, I'm I'm now talking in that okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> this this whole pie situation mm -hmm. uh de Evan is on a little not uncomfortable exactly but like you 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 have a vivid recent memory of <laughs> sticky red syrup and it is well it wasn't red it was blueberry in your dream but yeah yes yeah. unsettling well, yeah I did have that dream didn't I mm -hmm. Evan actually make me a nature check please well I'm proficient in nature Great. Great. Let's do it. Let's see how this rolls. 16. Okay. You just cast uh, Sacred Flame a minute I ago, did. right? Yep. Just just a little, yeah. Yeah, just in a your little hand. thing. I didn't send it anywhere or at anybody. I, yeah. It's a cantrip. I didn't want to do any spell slots. Do anything, yeah, too fancy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you notice, and uh, and thinking back, you know the 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 battle that you guys were just in was unexpected and stressful, and you you know you weren't you were you were focusing kind of on other stuff at the time. But you you noticed just now it's a little bit harder to cast your spells. 
Like it just takes a little more effort. You can totally still do it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not, it's not like shorting out on you or anything. This, this, this magic, but the, the, the divine magic that you tap into, but it takes more effort. You feel like you're pulling it from somewhere a little farther away. Are you are you losing your magic? No. Well, she hasn't necessarily yeah, told right. you. Told you any of that. Kind of thinking about it. Yeah. Uh huh. Go write this down. Little catastrophe, <laughs> catastrophe uh, rabbit over here. Look, I don't know how good mental health uh, education and services are in this setting. Uh, so I would say Fibbit has some very severely untreated anxiety. <laughs> Yeah, I would say so too. Okay. He's, he in the big city, he could probably yeah. get some help. Damn. Yes, yes. So, in the fight, did it seem harder there, or was it more difficult closer to the lake? About the same. About the same level of effort, and again, you're totally able to do it. Didn't take you any extra casting time or anything else, but it just felt a little fainter, and like you had to kind of like what about pull a little harder. The previous night, like which we don't have recorded, but the previous night, uh -huh. um, when we got attacked by boulders and stuff before uh -huh. we slept at the inn, was it easier before the dream or after the dream? Excellent. Excellent question. It was normal last uh, yesterday. Nothing unusual. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. 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 Yeah. I'll write this down. Yes. Yes. I don't think any of the rest of you. Well, would Quell? You do a little bit of kind of natural magic, don't you? Is, yeah, is your magic bit. arcane or like, it's more like nature based, right? I believe. Or is it so. arcane? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you can give me a nature check as well, Quell, if you want. Oh, I believe it's going to be nature based because I'm okay. proficient in that. Nothing okay, better. cool. Yeah, go ahead and give me a nature check. Ten. Ten? Okay. Uh, yeah, you don't... You you probably didn't notice anything in particular. You you may have also, like, struggled just a tiny bit with your spell cat. Like, you cast Hunter's Mark, for instance. But because you don't, like, constantly use magic, it's not like, you know, you have other skills as well that you draw on. You, you didn't really think anything of it. Um, but it was maybe a little bit of, a little tiny bit of a struggle to cast, like, the once or twice you did today. Okay. Uh, Ahlan, are you gonna head out for a swim? Yeah, I think I will. Okay. Well, I'm going to say we should, let's see here. Yeah, we'll have a few more minutes. I want to take a quick break, quick uh, bio break. And we'll do, yeah, we'll just do like a little short bit after that. That works for everybody. Sounds okay, we will cool. Be see you right folks back, back here in yeah. five to 10.
We are live. Welcome back to Queer Be Dragons. Queer Be Dragons. Queer Burner, right? Uh, happy Pride, everybody. Woo! Be gay. Woo do crimes be gay. Stonewall was a riot. Mm -hmm. Be gay, do right. crimes. Truly. I will keep repeating that all month. Forever. For, and also forever. Mm -hmm. uh, Chris, can you give people the rundown on our socials? Yeah, yeah. Welcome to Queer Bee Dragons. Catch us every other Sunday live on Twitch or catch up on our YouTube. And follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Queer Bee Dragons. Excellent. Smooth as butter. Okay, so uh, welcome back. You folks are, I should have done this before. At the, but they're just going to have a little beauty moment. Okay. Hmm. Um, you folks We're are human. in... Ursula, the Ursine's home, her little lakeside cottage. Uh, you've just finished excessive amounts of pie, some of you. Quell, uh, did you eat pie? Yeah, yeah, Quell eat pie. Okay, cool, cool. I figured I, everybody except. Pie, it's pie. You never say no to pie. Yeah. I, that's what I figured. Yeah, you're a little, you're sharp beak. And uh, Ahlin, you finished up your uh, wilted kale and Ursula shows you uh, kind of where to go through the garden path to get to the little dock. There's like a short little dock uh, out back of her house. And she points you in the direction and says, okay, now you have fun. It's real nice and cool this time of year. Oh, thank you. And then I will just dive right in. Ooh. Almost no splash, just like pew, into the water you go. And it is so as as she promised, so lovely and cool. You have been swimming in the lake a couple times over the last, you've been staying in this area for a couple days and you 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 know already that you love it. The top layer is just a little bit warmed by the sun. Yeah. And as you dive a little bit deeper, you can feel the cool currents passing you by. Uh, what would you like to do? Hmm, I think I want to go for a little deep dive and just scurry around and see if I see any, I don't know, trails maybe at the bottom of the seafloor. Okay. The lake, lake is- floor. Uh, the, yeah, lake, lake bed, I guess, technically. Yeah. Um, the lake is quite deep, but at this edge of it, it is not, not too, too deep. Not that you would have any trouble with that, but it doesn't take you very long to get to the bottom uh on this side and uh you can see there's there's some aquatic creatures in this lake there are there are fish there are um i'm sure some kind of little fantasy creature that i haven't made up yet that's perfectly normal uh you swim through some there's some sort of under underwater uh, plant beds down there too that you like you can feel the little um their little soft leaves brushing against you as you swim through go ahead and give me yeah i think let's just do um an investigation check if you would like which you would have advantage for because you are underwater or you can do a perception check uh straight roll if you prefer D&D &D Beyond, everyone. Uh, it is a great tool that we all know and love that makes everything super easy uh, when playing d and I highly recommend it to anybody that is not familiar with playing uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, it keeps mm -hmm, all mm -hmm. your spells and stuff. Anyway. Hashtag not sponsored, but like, guys, yeah. hit us up. Yeah. Like, also. we're available. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nine. Nine, did you do investigation or perception? I did perception. Perception, okay. If you would like to, you know, do an investigation a little, a little few minutes on, you're welcome to do that as well. So you head back in the general direction from whence you guys had come sort of to the west following along the shore. You're not, I assume not probably swimming up right next to the shore, but getting a little bit deeper going through going through the plant uh, beds, the, the fronds of waving underwater plants and little uh, schools of freshwater fishes. There's, yeah, there's a, 
ledge that kind of drops off into a deeper part of the lake more behind you, but this side, uh, as you continue on towards uh, the lake edge where Quell and uh, Fibbit had been, it remains fairly shallow. I would say maybe comparatively shallow. What would it be? Probably 20 feet, something like that. So not, not terribly deep. When you get over there, you sort of know vaguely what to look for because you had seen the slime trails on land and Quell had also described about where uh, she had seen them at the water's edge. And you can see uh, just glinting a little bit what you think is probably the trail from one of those bone whelks uh, kind of, you know, up ahead of you if you want to go you know that's probably the only unusual thing you notice down here at the moment. are there you said that there are a bunch of fish nearby mm -hmm. i yeah. will swim nearby and say hello friends um have the bone walk been acting strangely lately oh hello the what um the the bone walk they, they look like snails. Oh. They have shells and... Ooh, bones, bones. Yeah. Mm. No. Okay. They haven't done anything to you or your friends? Okay. Not much. Sometimes snacks, but not much. Hmm. You're pretty. You're pretty too. Um, you have a new friend. This little fish hovers over your shoulder. Do you know where they stay at? Do they live down here with you? Sometimes. Would you show me or would that be too scary for you? Just me? It looks back at the little school. Whoever wants to come is welcome to come, but you have to be careful and swim really, really fast if any danger comes. Little fish nod, which is like its whole body because they don't have necks. <laughs> okay. It <clears throat> turns to look at the rest of the school and says, swim, and darts off. I'll follow them. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, hello. I love Ahlin so much. I just love all my PCs. Okay. The little fish, yeah, darts off, heading, uh, veering kind of away from the shore. So continuing down the trail, the sort of slime trail, uh, which you're, you know, you're not seeing like, um, well, actually, yeah, I, it would be about the same width. There wouldn't be a huge difference, come to think of it, but between what was on land and what is what you're seeing underwater, like this kind of wide trail. Um, and there's disturbances sort of like in the mud and in the like there's some plants broken off and stuff like that. But there's not um, the same kind of like, you know, leaves and twigs or any of that stuff. Like it is, is clearly, this is clearly a creature that can exist for some time underwater and it is moving along normally or was so your little fishy friend takes you on yeah for a little bit just darting through the water you don't see anything in particular uh unusual you're enjoying the little silver glints of the of the fish by you and sort of they they veer back and forth sort of sometimes like swimming with you as part of them and sometimes going on ahead of you and sort of moving as one Again, kind of reminding you a little bit of that dream you had last night, these little the little silver flashes in the water. And you swim for a little while, 10, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, something like that. They're not going super fast because they're kind of small. You're heading now towards what you realize you can see kind of um, through the water, which is not super crystal clear, but you can start to see the shape of what you think must be this island. Uh, ahead of you. They're swimming in that general direction. I would say 
Yeah, what are you doing? What are you paying attention to? What are you looking for? Anything in particular? Uh, I am looking at the trail. I'm kind of wanting to see, the, it's probably very obvious that it's clear of debris where their trail is. Pretty much, mostly, um, yeah. Is there anything strange or odd about the island? And do I feel like a sense of unease at all? Following Ooh. them, do do my fish friends seem like they might start to be a little uneasy? Ooh, make me a an insight check, a fin sight check. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Hmm. 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 You know what? I'm gonna make a fish roll. Fish roll. A fish. A fish. Fish roll. Fish roll. Fishy roll. Okay. All right. No, they're pretty dumb. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they, <laughs> they're pretty. They got small little wow. brains. Very fishiest of you. They are. <laughs> They are keeping an eye out for sure. A little more alert. They don't seem like they are super concerned. They're swimming along at their normal rate, but you can see their little eyes like darting out and, and down and up. Like they are definitely keeping uh, an eye out. Go ahead and also make me, um, go ahead and make me that investigation check at advantage for the uh, trail as you kind of swim down closer to it and take a look. Oh. That 20. Hey! Oh. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> We love to see it. Alrighty, let me make sure I've got my notes perfectly accurate here so I can tell you what you see. Uh, yes. Lovely, lovely. Okay. As the island looms closer, the sun is still pretty central in the sky. It's now maybe, you know, one or t maybe pressing on two o'clock. So there's still a good deal of sunlight. The island is large enough to cast a shadow, though, at this point in the water. And you make sure because you're you know you realize that you're entering sort of a darker area to really keep like keep your eyes wide and and following the fish's lead because they are looking alert as you enter the shadowy area the trail starts to sort of like wind a little bit uh it makes a a curve, a sharp curve at a certain point, and you follow it sideways and see a sort of a depression in the in the lake bed where there's been some kind of hmm, not a disturbance, but it looks like perhaps it's more like this creature had sort of settled in and maybe like kind of rolled around a little bit. And as you get closer to investigate it, you see what this whelk must have been rolling in because there are bones littering the floor. Not, not tons, you would say on a 20. Ooh, delicious. Swimming closer, you can pick out that there are the bones of two creatures here, not very large, both humanoid. A lot of them are missing, which makes sense because the whelk picked up quite a few. They're scattered slightly like at, at different sides, but sort of nearish each other, but maybe eight feet apart. There are two different colors. The bright bleached white that you now recognize as Ushi's bones, remains. 
and another set that looks a little darker, a little more charred. Uh, again, I you rolled so well, I'm just, you're gonna notice all these details, a little more charred as if a more natural like fire or something had affected them. As expected from the white pile, there is no skull. There are a couple of leg bones, uh, a hip bone, some vertebrae. In the charred pile, there is a skull and you swim cl closer to it and take a good look at it. It's a little bit hard to tell in this light, but if you had to guess, you would say it was about the size of a gnome or a goblin skull. <clears throat> do you want to do anything while you're down there looking at these? I am going to try to collect the bones and okay. I would like to, after seeing this, I will go back to the surface and I will, I will dismiss my fish friends. Okay. They, yeah, as they got like closer to the bones and the slime, they started feeling like getting a little skittery. So they dart off very quickly without saying anything as soon as you dismiss them. Uh, I would like to try to get Ushi's bones okay. first so that I can how bring are, them. Yeah, how are you going to carry them? Do you have a bag? Do you have like a, yeah, how are you going to? I'm going to just try to like. I have little pouches and stuff, but I don't think all of the bones fit in there. But when I like smaller mm -hmm. bones, I'll put in my pouches. The bigger ones, I'll just try to hold in one arm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they're polished, like again, eerily smooth and and bright white in the in the shadow of the island. You are you collecting both sets or just Ushis? If I have time, I, I want to collect both sets, but I okay. first wanted to collect the Ushis. Okay. Yeah, you can you can get a couple of armfuls. It's gonna be, you're gonna be moving at half speed if you're carrying all of those, if that's okay with you. Yes. Um, if that's okay with Ahlan, okay. So you gather your arms full of these like morbid remains. The, uh, the darker colored bones are rubbing a little bit of soot like onto your, even underwater onto your skin, like um, almost like a greasy soot. Um, which again, would be more familiar to you as the remains of, of a body that has been burned. You holding your, <laughs> the remains, you kick up towards the surface. And as you reach, you know, you're looking up, gauging your distance from the surface. And I would say maybe this, this area was deeper. So it takes you a, a few strokes to head up that way. And I would say about five or six feet under the surface, as you are looking up, you see something gleaming uh, along the edge of the island and you're pretty close to it now like you could get a better look at that if you just swam a little bit forward do you want to take a look no I'm gonna go back to the dock and I think I'm gonna bring I want to bring these back I want to bring Ushi back to Tessie okay as you turn with your armfuls of bones uh, and start to swim, you get a, a f barely at all, like all a few feet maybe before you suddenly see illuminated in front of you, your, your own shadow as light, bright, brilliant light shines out behind you it almost like hurts your eyes. You have to squint and turn and peer over your shoulder. And there is a huge, pure white glowing shape 
standing at the edge of the island. You can't make out any details. It is so overwhelmingly bright. You can barely keep your eyes open. But you do see just faintly as you squint at it, two dark shadows standing between the light and you. And that's where we're going to end today's episode. Oh, man! Oh. <laughs> Fibbit was almost right again. I was going <laughs> to jump in. I was going to jump in. You were going to jump in? Wait, what? Well, I assumed this bright white light from the edge of the island, we would have seen that, right? From the dock. If you were paying attention, if you all I went out to the dock. I definitely would have been. Yeah. Then, sure. uh, I would have jumped yeah. in. But I guess we'll come okay. to our next session. Okay. We'll do we'll start there next session. Whoever was out there likely would have seen it. So okay. more than likely yeah. would have seen it. <laughs> Thank you all been, so much. You would have been watching. What you have got been watching? Here. We've got to take care of Bovine my eyes. Right. Yeah. yeah. Take care of your, you and yours. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. We have been Queer Bee Dragons. I have been your DM, Roxana Meta. Uh, happy freaking pride, everybody. Um, yeah, we are so glad that you spent this afternoon with us in our little adventure as the plot thickens. Uh, Chris, can you let everybody know the stuff? Yeah, so catch us every other Sunday live on Twitch or catch up on our YouTube and follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Queer Bee Dragons. Boosh. All right. Mwah. We love you all. We will see you next time to find out uh, what the fuck was up with that. Yeah. Good night. Peace, everybody. Mwah. Bye.